A fifth victim has died after that shooting rampage on Friday. 26-year-old Marcella Franco was with her father, Carlos Franco, driving to campus to buy textbooks. They were both shot. Her father died on Friday. She has lost her fight to live in the hospital today. Kyung Law is live for us now in Santa Monica with the latest on these details. Kyung. Well, Frederica, this is just uh, bringing a little more grief and sadness to the people uh, here in this beach community, this iconic beach community. Uh, this young woman who was, as you said, with her father, just trying to pick up textbooks at the school. She has lost her fight in trying to stay alive after this rampage. Um, police now say that they are continuing their investigation. They're not expecting to do any sort of news conference today, but they're going to be focusing on where this young disturbed man was able to get so many guns and bullets. The armed gunman, dead at the end of his rampage, had one intent, say police. He heavily armed himself and he was ready for battle. Police displayed his jaw-dropping arsenal and the black bag the gunman carried, the upper receiver to a 223 semi-automatic rifle, a 44 caliber handgun, and hundreds of rounds loaded into two dozen magazine clips. He had an additional 1,300 rounds he could have fired. This is just some of his weaponry. Police also showed pictures of additional magazines and the gunman dressed in all black wearing knee pads and a vest where you see him carrying the 223 semi-automatic rifle he used in the bloody rampage across the normally idyllic beach town. Anytime someone puts on a vest of some sort, uh, comes out with a bag full of full, uh, loaded magazines, has an extra receiver, has a handgun, um, and has a semi-automatic rifle, carjacks folks, goes to a college, kills more people, uh, and has to be neutralized at the hands of the police, I would say that that's premeditated. But why? Police say in 2006, they were called to this house the gunman set on fire, where they believe he killed two of his relatives. At the time, the gunman was a juvenile, so police would not elaborate. Police don't know why he chose to shoot his way to Santa Monica College, but police revealed the gunman was a student at the community college in 2010, likely familiar with the library, where police say students hid in a safe room, miraculously dodging bullets the gunman fired through the walls. Officers say he probably didn't know any of his victims outside of his relatives, choosing people at random. Victims like the father and daughter inside this red SUV. Shot in the head and killed, Santa Monica College groundskeeper Carlos Navarro Franco. He was driving his daughter, a student at the college, to pick up textbooks when they came across the gunman. Why it happened to them, but to go out and just shoot randomly at other people that he don't know or had any contact with, I just don't understand why a person would do that. And the family and the Santa Monica College now identifying that young woman who lost her fight, 26-year-old Marcella Franco.